guys, welcome back to the Coco channel and to another empties video. We haven't done one of these in quite a few months. Um, I don't think I did one June, July. I don't even know if I did one in May. Um, not that it matters, so let's go ahead and get into it. I have quite a few things because I haven't done one in so long. Um, so we'll go ahead and get the bigger things out of the way. Um, let's start off with two soaps that managed to make it into the basket. Um, the first one is Warm Vanilla Sugar Classic Scent. Um, my favorite scent is vanilla for sure. And then another old school scent, this is Cucumber Melon. Every once in a while they release their like uh, old school scents like Cucumber Melon, Japanese Cherry Blossom, stuff like that. So whenever they do I make sure to get a couple of the Cucumber Melons because it brings back the memories. We have two Philosophy uh, body washes. The three-in-one shampoo, shower gel, and bubble bath. Um, the first one is Pink Frosted Animal Cracker. This one was alright. It didn't really smell as good as like an actual, you know, which animal crackers I'm talking about with the frosting and the little sprinkles. Um, the next one is Candy Cane. This one was so good and refreshing. It was like giving your body a mint, if you catch my drift. It made things very crisp and minty feeling. <laughs> um, I would definitely purchase this over again. Uh, I think... Um, Nessa maybe or Stephanie gave me a peppermint one so I'm really really excited about that it's just seriously like so refreshing so refreshing if you catch my drift I have a empty nail polish remover this is the strengthening nail polish remover from up and up um, I definitely switched over since getting pregnant I no longer use acetone nail polish remover I have a soy one and I also have an acetone free one so um, I wouldn't, I won't be repurchasing acetone nail polish remover until this little bebe comes out. You can't see what I just did. I have two Soap and Glory items. The first one is the body scrub, the peach one. I love this. This is my favorite body scrub of all time. Um, flake away, that's what it's called. And so uh, I have one, another one of these in my shower and I also have another backup. So love that. And then my favorite lotion of all time is the Smoothie Star Body Milk. Um, I'm not using this right now because I'm using a like chemical free one. It's in my monthly favorite, so maybe you already saw it. Um, so I do love this. The scent of this is to die for. It doesn't say paraben or phthalate free. And they just say to like try and keep away from those if you can. It's obviously better for you. I don't go all out and like make sure it's not in anything I touch. But simple things like lotions or body washes or you know what I mean? Stuff like that. It's really easy when it says it right there on the label like no things, no bad things. <laughs> so um, next up I have an empty bottle of the prenup. This is the instant spray hair mask um, from the brand IGK I think is the brand. Somebody like reamed me last time because I said it was the brand LA which is up here but it's not. It's the brand IGK which has NYC, MIA, and LA at the bottom. Um, I don't know if those are like the different hubs. Um, but this one is paraben, paraben and sulfate free, petroleum and mineral oil free, cruelty and gluten free, vegan, UV protection. So I would definitely repurchase this. Um, it was a little bit pricey. I think I got this during the Sephora VIB sale in spring. So I would definitely pick these up in the fall one coming up. Um, if I had the extra money, I probably won't, but I would definitely repurchase this. It was so easy to do. I literally, you do it in the shower, which is so cool. It's so easy. It's right there. You don't have to remember, like worry about remembering to do it um and so I would like put this on after shampooing and then uh shave my legs and by the time you're done with that it's time you know what I mean it only takes two minutes to soak in so I absolutely love this I actually loved pairing this with I have it right here um this is the diva curl build up buster so it gently deep cleanses your hair. It removes any excess product that you may be putting in your hair throughout the week. It's obviously meant by the brand. You can tell Diva Curl for um, my ladies that have like extremely curly hair and you're constantly putting like curl enhancement product in your hair. Um, I don't use a ton of that because my hair doesn't have a ton of curl, but I do use like a ton of heat protectant. I use a ton of like lines of treatment. I use um, the Living Proof Split End Mender. I use the um, Dry Bar 100 Proof Treatment Oil. Uh, and so I did this like once a week and I loved going in with this and then putting the mask in on top of it just because you're absolutely stripping your hair of everything. And so 
it suggests going in with a deep conditioner afterwards and there's nothing better than a instant spray mask um, and it's just amazing both of these um, I would definitely suggest getting I'm throwing this away this was in last week's tutorial Tuesday this is the Maybelline dream cushion foundation it is obviously on its last leg or maybe even past that because I went to put it on and it was so orange I took it off and went in with my holy grail foundation the covergirl three-in-one so I'm definitely gonna throw this bad boy away next up is an empty thing of toothpicks flossers uh, I just it sounds really random I wanted to put these in here because they're my favorite ones of all time I don't know um, if it's a convenient thing or it's just a preference of mine but I prefer the picks over the traditional floss that you wrap around your fingers and these are my favorite ones they're not overly waxy but they're also not the cheap ones that like shred when you're flossing um, plus they're 3d white so it helps get rid of stains in between your teeth as well, and these are my favorite ones. I've tried a ton of different ones, but these are my absolute favorite. Um, a couple more hair products. I have a Lanza Healing Remedy. Um, I tried this for my dandruff. This is the Scalp Balancing Conditioner. This got really good reviews on Ulta, and these were like $30 a piece, so $60 on shampoo and cream rinse, which I've... I'm sure I had a coupon for it or something I don't think I would pay full price for these but I was also pretty desperate when the dandruff came back and this did not work nearly as well as the original head and shoulders and you know sometimes it's nice to have fancy things and you know what I mean name brand things but if it doesn't work it doesn't pay so I'd rather pay the five dollars for the head and shoulders over sixty dollars for something that doesn't even work do not suggest those. Um, I have an empty thing of Shiseido Cotton. Uh, this was the first time I've ever used these and Steph got these for me when we did our um, swap and I absolutely fell in love. They're not the cheapest cotton in the world but it's not the most insane thing. I just picked up another pack because I love them so much. Highly suggest. Uh, my favorite deodorant of all time, Secret Paris Romantic Rose. <laughs> I do not get the liquid, I get the stick. Um, it doesn't transfer. Oh, and it's the best scent ever. I used up two of the, oh my gosh, there's hair in this lid. That is so gross. I used two up of the Anastasia Brow Definers. This is my favorite brow product of all time. Um, I'm the color blonde. I feel like this is the only one that I've tried so far. I haven't tried a ton uh, that actually matches the tone and the color of my hair to where I don't look like a girl who drew on her bras with sharpies because sometimes they're just too dark for me and it just does not look good does not look cute this is the Aribe dry texturizing spray um i got this i think in the beauty box last year from beautylish and i definitely would repurchase this if it wasn't so expensive i think this full size is like 50 dollars for dry shampoo but it's so good. It smells really good. It works really, really well. So maybe it would be worth it. But I won't find out anytime soon. Um, another hair care product. This is the Amika Perk Up Dry Shampoo. If you guys remember my wish list for what uh, the spring VIB sale, I had a ton of Amika products on there. And I ended up getting like a 500 point perk. And it wasn't anything special. I'm really glad that I didn't pay full price for it. I would get the Oribe over this one because this one's not cheap either. I have an empty fresh sugar um, lip. <laughs> I even like dug it out. That's so funny. Uh, this is my favorite lip product of all time. I feel like it, the original one especially, it has an SPF of 15. It just feels really good. The whole family can use it. If I have it in my purse, I can give it to my husband to use if he has dry lips. Um, I could put a little bit on Aiden when he has dry lips or maybe a dry, he gets like dry on his nose and so I'll put a little bit on there. Um, so I absolutely love this. Um, I have a empty Caudalie Reservatol Lift eye lifting balm. Um, I got a little sample of this. I don't know if it was like a point perk or maybe like one of the promo codes, but I did end up buying a full size of this because I loved it so much. Um, Caudalie products have some of the weirdest scents. They're not like perfumey or smelling good. They smell really weird, but it works really, really well, I feel like. Also very, very expensive. I have one in Tippity's Antipodes product. This is the Warship Superfruit Antioxidant Serum. This I got from Alana um, a long time ago. Um, I liked this, but I like the original one much more. The uh, Mer or what was it called? I can't remember the name of the other one, but it's it, I liked it better than this one. 
Um, I have a empty mascara. This is the Steel of Huge. You guys know this is my holy grail mascara of all time, um, especially in the little mini tube. Um, if you find these like as a point perk or a free gift or anything, the Steel of Huge definitely snatch them up. Um, I have an empty bag of cotton balls that I wanted to share with you. These are the up and up ones, puffy jumbo size. Puffy fluffs. They're cotton balls. I don't know what I expected to say about those. I'm throwing this away because it's the worst thing ever. Um, I wore this in either a picture or a video and you guys were like, oh my gosh, that red looks so good on you. It was the worst thing ever. It literally like didn't even ball. My lips started sticking together. Like it never dried down and it looked, oh, it got like all in my mouth. It was horrible. I got this in like a boxy charm a long time ago. Um, it's by the brand DLS in the color phantom um don't get that last but not least our makeup wipes um and i wanted to do this specifically because there are two different ones um this is the original neutrogena makeup remover cleansing towelettes holy grail best thing ever will never be out of these I always have these in my arsenal these are the same thing and this one says it removes 99.3 percent which this one does not say so whatever they put in these ones to remove that 99.3 percent of makeup burns the living mm -hmm, out of your eyes out of your like it gets in your mouth the scent is awful completely different so don't ever get the ones with the silver um, if you have sensitive eyes like I do anyway if you have these and you love them that's awesome but they burn the crap out of my eyes and my eyes are very very sensitive so that could be why but these ones are my holy grail I could literally put the cloth in my eyeball and it doesn't do anything so love I used up another pack and this was from Daiso I literally use these for swatches because they don't do a whole lot on actually taking off makeup um, but they're so cute and they're probably a dollar fifty just like everything else in that beautiful store so that is it for this empties video um, hopefully it wasn't too long I thought it was gonna be a lot longer just because I haven't done it in so long but it really wasn't that bad so if you enjoy empties videos let me know um, in the comments down below or give it a thumbs up if it's something that you're not really interested in and it's kind of like a me video that I don't really need to waste my time on also let me know that down below all about that constructive criticism oh, let me know what you want to see um, if you're new hello and welcome my name is Brittany Coco you are watching the Coco channel please subscribe if you're not already and I'll catch you guys in my next video bye I used up two yeah hey guys welcome back to the Coco channel and to another tutorial what Tutorial Tuesday. You already have your makeup on.